Welcome to Dozochem. This video covers ionic bonding and ionic nomenclature. And we're going to focus on ionic compounds that contain transition metals and polyatomic ions. You've probably seen this chart before in previous videos. This tells you how to determine the charge that a metal gets depending on the column. So group 1 plus 1 and group 2 plus 2. And the chart also shows you the charge a non-metal gets when it gains electrons. So group 15 minus 3 or 3 minus, group 16, 2 minus, 17, 1 minus, and the aluminum metal cation is always plus 3. Now there's metals in the middle of the periodic table, groups 3 to 12 called transition metals, and some metals in the uh, lower right of the table um, below the non-metals on that side of the table that are called post-transition metals. Um, those metals can have multiple charges depending on the situation, so you're going to use Roman numerals to indicate the charge that those metals have in that particular situation. So here's four examples, copper 1, iron 2, gallium 3, and lead 4, and you can just translate that into the charges of those metals. Um, there's also groups of atoms called polyatomic ions that have a charge. Um, I'm guessing you've heard of some of these, but uh, ammonium, hydroxide, nitrate, carbonate, sulfate, phosphate. There's many, many more, but these are the ones that tend to come up in intro chem labs quite a bit. Um, so those are worth remembering, and you may re have to refer back to this slide um, when we do some examples in a minute. So, if you recall in the previous video, um, when you go to write formulas of ionic compounds, you want to use subscripts to make the total plus charge equal to the total, total minus charge. And we made this very important point, uh, don't show charges in your final formula. So those are the two main things. Um, I added one sentence in the middle here. Um, if you have a polyatomic ion and there's more than one of them, um, you're going to use parentheses to... Um, put that around the polyatomic ion if there's more than one. So uh, let's look at some examples here. Uh, sodium carbonate, we know sodium column one, so it's plus one, and carbonate um, always has a minus two charge. So to balance the charges, we're going to need two sodiums and one carbonate. Um, so the two sodiums become the subscript in the formula, and don't forget, um, we're going to leave out the charges. Uh, next example, nickel to nitrate, you need the Roman numerals because nickel is a transition metal. So that tells you that the Ni is going to have a plus 2 charge. Nitrate always has a minus 1 charge, so you're going to need two nitrates to balance out the 2 plus charge in the nickel ions. Um, so this is what I was saying about um, polyatomic ions needing parentheses. You're going, since there's two nitrates, you're going to put the nitrate in parentheses. Uh, ammonium phosphate, ammonium's plus one, phosphate's minus three, so we need three ammoniums, um, so therefore we're going to use parentheses around the ammonium and a subscript of three. Aluminum hydroxide, aluminum's always plus three, hydroxide's known to be minus one, so we're going to need three hydroxides to balance out the plus three charge. So we're going to put hydroxide in parentheses and make the 3 into a subscript. Um, these last two are a little trickier. Um, we've got chromium 3, so we know the chromium has a plus 3 charge. And sulfate, SO4, is known to be 2 minus. So we want to make the pluses and minuses equal. So the only way to do that is to do two chromium ions. Um, that will give you plus 6 total charge and 3 sulfate um, you'll have minus 6 total charge. So those will balance out, and then you just transfer the number of ions into a subscript. So two chromiums and three sulfates, and you put the sulfate in parentheses. Uh, next example, very similar, iron 3 sulfide. So iron has a plus 3 charge. Sulfide is minus 2. Um, so to get those to balance out, we need two Fe3 pluses and three S2 minuses. So you'll have a total of plus six and minus six. And then we take the number of ions and we make those the subscripts. 
And as usual, we do not show charges in our final answer. So that's it for this video. Good luck.